What's going on people? It's Greg with another Excel VBA tutorial video. Today we'll be going over how to auto filter all values in a list. So let's get right into it. I've got a list of countries and I want to auto filter the region by a list of regions that I've created on a different sheet here. So this sheet has five regions that I want to filter by. So now I want to create a macro that's going to use this list to auto filter this data. So we can call this sub filter list. Declare our variables. We'll have a count as an integer. And then we'll also have an array we're going to call that list and that'll be a variant so because I have two sheets I'm gonna go ahead and activate the sheet that I want to start with I want to activate sheet 2 and um, a cool trick that you can use so that no matter what the name of the tab is your macro will still run correctly is if you look here you can see the actual name of the sheet is sheet one then we have sheet two we can use this name here in our code regardless of whatever name is here so let me show you so I can change this to list of regions so you see how that's updated here Now I can just, instead of putting like sheets and then quotations, the name of the sheet, like list of regions, I can simply just put sheet two and then activate. And even here, I can change the name as I please. I can call this regions. Or I could call it something short. Let's call it a let's call it test. So now I can say test activate. And you see it's updated here. But just to be consistent, I'll just go ahead and leave it as sheet two. So we activate sheet two. So no matter what sheet we're on, this one's gonna get activated. And then from here, what we're gonna do is count the number of items in this list. That way, it doesn't matter how long the list is, we'll always be able to auto filter any of the values in this list. This gives us that dynamic capability. All right, so the range I'm going to start at is going to be A1. All right, so now our count should be five. Now what we have to do is turn this list into an array and then we can auto filter the array that we create. So what I'm going to do is say list is equal to range and we'll reference cells 1 1 that's here. And then we're going to go down here, and that's going to be cells 5, 1. So we got 1, 1, 
cells. Sorry, not five one. It's going to be count one because it is dynamic, so that'll be changing. So our count is five. We'll use count as our parameter for this section here because the first parameter is always up, down, and then the second's left to right. So I want the value. So unfortunately, this isn't all we can do. We have to do more in order for our auto filter to work. To uh, explain this, I'll go ahead and add a view. I'll go to the locals window. So what the locals window allows us to do is to actually view all the variables as we're going through the code step by step. So if you use F8, you can run through your code step by step. So you see at this point, the count is zero, the list is empty. Then we activate sheet two. Now after we execute this, our count is now five, as you can see. Now we're on this next. And now our list is a variant one to five, one to one. So we need a one dimensional array and this isn't and this isn't what we need in order to auto filter. So let's go ahead and transpose the values. So we can say list equals application transpose and we want to transpose itself so we're going to transpose a list so I do that count is five we have that now after that we see this has changed and you see all the values here And for some reason, there's extra spaces in here. So let's go ahead and get rid of those. So we try this again. All right, looks a lot better. So still a few more spaces in there. So now we're clean. So we transpose the array. Now we're going to need to join them with a comma in between each one. So we can do that with join. And we're going to join list. With a comma. So let's step through it. So now our list looks like this. And then we're going to have to do one more step, and that's to split. And we're going to use the commas in order to split the list. So there we go. Now we got our string. And this should work fine. So now what we're going to do is activate sheet one. And then with our active sheet, we're 
we're going to use this column here, B. Well, sorry, we want to start at A4 for our actual filter. And then we're going to use fill 2 to actually apply our filter. Our criteria is going to be list. And then we can end it with operator XL filter values. So that should be all we need. All right, so we'll go ahead and run. What's going on here? Oh, should be Kurtz criteria one. Okay, there we go. So you see we've used this list. We should have five different one, two, three, four, five. These are all being used. And we could simply, if we wanted to, we could add another. So now we have six values. If I were to run this again, we're now filtered by those six. One, two, three four, five, six. Same as if I were just to take off three of these. So as the list changes, as it gets longer and shorter, one, two, three, the macro is able to accommodate for that. So to make this look a lot cleaner, you can actually throw this all in one line. I was mainly going step by step to show you how it works and why it makes sense. But if you really wanted to make this clean, you would just do this list equals split join. application so we're working in reverse here transpose range cells one one cells count one value then I'm gonna have my commas there we go so I'll just take all this out Let me add Eastern Europe here. So there should be four. So let's try this again. And there we go. One, two, three, four. All right, thanks a lot for watching. That's it, that's all I got for you. Um, make sure to like, subscribe, comment. Appreciate it.